So this bag is where I keep my flint and steel. I've got a couple of pieces of flint in there, but I'll just use that big one. It's easier to hold it. So when I use the, f I don't use it with char cloth because I've I've spoke about it in previous videos before, but. Char cloth costs money. Char wood is free because punk wood is free from the woods. Char cloth you have to pay for it because it's either a t-shirt or something made of cotton that you have to char. But anyway, I strike down like this and put the sparks into it. S similar in the way I suppose to the way I use my ferro rod. I know the way to do it is to sort of hold the charred material like that and then strike it and then the spark will catch into it but because the piece of charwood is quite bulky. You have to pin it down to the to the flint, and it cr it crushes it. So I think doing it that way, it works better with a piece of char cloth. But I prefer using charred punk wood. So this way for me, striking downwards into the pile of it, and eventually one of the pieces will catch. To me, this one is, this is the way that works better. So. And there it's, if it zooms in, it focuses, whatever. That's it taken. So now just similar to the bow drill, just take a piece of it and add it in. I've got the chart in on there, just beginning to smoke out the, the pinhole on the top. And also got the um, the Dutch oven on as well, with the lamb and whatnot in it. The instructions on the lamb for cooking it said it would take about two hours. And also that's in a conventional oven at a specified temperature. Um, I don't know exactly how this is going to go. <laughs> this is the first time I've cooked in a Dutch oven over a fire before, so I could cremate this yet. It's starting to smell really good. I mean, it's only been on about half an hour, but it's starting to smell really good. I've just realised I've had nothing since breakfast. I haven't eaten since breakfast and I haven't brought anything else to eat, no snacks or anything. It was just this. So, I'm getting very, very hungry now. I 
I'm gonna get a brew on. These things are a gift, absolute gift. They're great for working around the fire. Yeah, what were they? Wells Lamont, I think that's what they're called. 10.99 off of eBay. about 10 to 6 now so it's got about another hour before it's before that's the two hours anyway I'm gonna keep an eye on it and see what happens because yeah I don't want to cremate it I lifted it off to have a check. And that is it. Some of the roses and carrots around this side are burnt. But this is the side that was to the, the front of the fire, so it got the most of the heat. But, um, I think I'm going to take these out, the vegetables, and then check the meat and see what it's like. If it needs to go on for a bit longer. Then I'll leave it in for a bit longer. It's sizzling away there nicely. So that's what's left of the veg. It's probably <laughs> one potato and not even half a carrot. But there's the lamb. I'm happy with that. One of my few potatoes. Yeah, I think I should have done, I shouldn't have put the potatoes in when I put the lamb in, I should have done them. And then that would... That's about an hour and, yeah, about an hour and ten minutes. I should have put the potatoes in that in after about half an hour. Look at that. 
that fat. So I've got my boiled eggs on, well, I've got my eggs on boiling in the water and they'll be for breakfast tomorrow morning. I modified my fireplace, I put a, a big rock there and then a couple of big rocks there as well. It's just to stop the firewood from rolling one side to the other. Um, I, I would usually lay them you know, front to back so they wouldn't be able to roll towards me. Um, so I'll just leave it at that I think. Seems to be working well. But yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm boiling them now because just to save myself hassle first thing in the morning. We've got a, we're going to the beach tomorrow because it's supposed to be a real nice day. My my dad he's been last year he's been studying his scuba diving and all that sort of stuff, and he's passed all his exams and he's he's bought himself a little sort of. You know, a, 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 an inflatable boat, and he's got like dry suits and that. And he, he bought a little dry suit for my wee boy. So me, the wee boy, and my dad, we're going to go out on it tomorrow and go for a swim down the beach. We're all going to go. Like my my mum and my the wife and that is going to go, and my daughter. So we're doing that tomorrow. So I don't want to be getting up and getting a fire going, boiling eggs and waiting for the fire to burn out. I just want to be able to, you know, wake up. You know, have a bit of breakfast, pack up, and then head out. But yeah, it's been a nice chill day. I've I've really enjoyed it. The uh, the Dutch oven is one on I'll need to I'll need to work on um, cooking with that because a lot of them vegetables were so far gone, too charred, they were just inedible. Uh, the lamb was gleaming though, spot on. Even Rusty loved his. He's sleeping off over there now. But yeah, once these eggs are boiled, I'm going to use the water to cook up some, cook up, make another brew, and then I'm going to lie down and chill out for a bit. I've just got my family sleeping pad. So we're taking some of that air. And then the sleeping bag I've got is the military one, it's a sort of medium weight sleeping bag. And I'll just get Rusty's bed all sorted out. I'm 
got his wool blanket, but I'm going to use it as a pillow for a bit until it's time for him to go to sleep. And his jacket, he won't need it just yet, but for a bit and a bit. <laughs> Well, folks, that's it. Losing the majority of the light now. It's um, coming up about half eight. So I think I'm just going to lie here. I've still got a bit of the wood to burn yet, so I'm just going to lie here and watch the fire TV for a couple hours. And then I think I'll, I'll get my head down. And I guess I'll see you in the morning, unless anything awesome happens through the night. Sweet dreams. Hello folks, so it's coming up for 10 to 8 now, I woke up at about 7 and then stayed in bed till about half 7 and then got up, I've already eaten my boiled egg, it was you know a cold boiled egg, I'm sure you can imagine exactly what that was like for breakfast, but um, yeah Rusty's waiting for his breakfast now, he's very impatient, very impatient, isn't he? Yeah, last night I slept alright, nothing happened, nothing major happened. There was some animal screeching noises, I don't know what they were, fox deer or something, but it was way up the top of the hill. Um, but yeah, other than that, yeah, nothing, nothing further to report. I slept alright, I was chilly at times. Um, I woke up with cold feet this morning and through the night a couple of times I woke up I was a bit chilly. So this military medium to lightweight sleeping bag. It's not the best for spring in Scotland, but at least I know that now, so I know if I can use it this early on in the year. And I mean, you could, you know, I, I, I haven't died from it, but I did wake up a few times through the night a bit chilly. The bed itself, it's comfortable, especially with the sleeping pad on, but it, it is quite narrow, so I think when I do get back here and get to make and get to making the shelter how I want it to actually be when I originally envisaged it, um, yeah, I think I'm going to make it a bit wider by maybe two or three more boards, and that should that should do it then. But yeah, um, that's about it really. So I think I'll I'll get Rusty fed, and then I'm going to start packing up. And then hump up that massive hill. Rusty's food. Eats. I'm going to get on with packing up. Well folks, that's me all packed up, 
It's just gone about half eight, so I need to get going because we're going to the beach today. I'm not the rest of the I'm at the beach. And I've got about an hour's walk back to the car and I've got to go up this hill yet. And I'm not looking forward to it because my knee's a bit sore and stiff from going up and down it yesterday looking for firewood. But yeah, all packed, less for the less for the Dutch oven. I'm gonna carry that up the hill because I've got water in it to stop the the muck inside it from sticking too badly, so I don't want to put it in my pack with water in it, plus it'll be even heavier. So I'll keep the water in it as long as possible, probably to the car and then I'll pour it out of the car and then just, it's about a 40 minute drive then. But yeah, it's a good night, a bit chilly, but other than that, can't really complain, it was a good night. But yeah, got to go, so I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for watching folks, really appreciate you taking the time today to do so. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Take care.